Okay guys, quick and easy video on how to make ringtones for the iPhone. This is ringtones without jailbreak in your iPhone. Um, so there's going to be a couple of programs you're going to need, obviously iTunes being one of them. Um, the other program that you're going to need is a program called Audacity. Um, look in the column on the right hand side of the screen under the description and I will have a link to Audacity free download in there. So first thing you need to do open Audacity file, open, find the um, the song that you want to take a cut from so for me going to do rusted from the rain here. So right now the song will import into the program. And there you can see, don't worry that you've got two different layers here, it's not important. So what you want to do now is you want to find a section of the song that you're going to want as a ringtone. Now you can only take a maximum of 30 seconds uh, for it to work on your iPhone any longer than 30 seconds and it'll show up in iTunes but it won't transfer to your iPhone so it's important to try and keep your cut under 30 seconds so start by taking a snippet of the song and once you've got your section just verify your section as you can see the part that I want is the part that's highlighted all the way through in grey. If you need, if you need an idea of how to do all this, there's a tutorial on the Audacity website that you can use, and that'll show you basically how you can cut a section of the song. Once we've got the section that we want in grey, we're going to export the selection as WAV. It, it doesn't support exporting the section as an MP3. You have to download another program for that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to export the selection as a WAV. Right now we're just going to save it at the desktop. <coughs> and whatever you save the file name as, that's how it's going to show up on your iPhone. So for this, we're just going to do Rusted from the Rain. And we're going to save that to the desktop. Okay. So now we can just exit out of this. We don't want to save the changes before closing. And now you can see Rusted from the Rain is on our desktop. What we want to do next is open up iTunes. Nice way that I tend to do this is in the search box before I do anything I'll type the name of the song into the search box. And there you can see we've got Billy Town Rusted from the Rain. I've already got the song in iTunes um, but it's the full song. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the section that I want over onto iTunes, you can see now we've got two copies of Rusted from the Rain. One is 4 minutes and 12 seconds, which is the full song. The other is a 28 second song, so I'm 2 seconds under what it needs to be. So next, this is where it gets really important. Right click on the song. By the way, I'm using uh, I iTunes version 9, so it's the latest version that's out. Right click. Now, you'll see that there's an option on there which says create ringtone. I've never used that yet because this is, I mean, iTunes 9's only been out a few days. I haven't used it yet, although I did try clicking on it earlier. And what it's saying is, I'll just show you here. If you click on it, it'll tell you that a ringtone can't be created from this song. Um, you can only create iPhone ringtones from songs that were purchased from the iTunes store. So if you've got this from a disc, if you've ripped it from a disc, or if you've downloaded it through LimeWire or whatever, um, you won't be able to create a ringtone direct like that. So the way that I'm showing you is a way that you can do it with any song. So you right click on it and then just above where it says create ringtone it says create AAC version. So we'll click on that and it's going to create it. You'll hear a little beep when it's done. What we can do now is the top one, Try it, make sure you don't get them mixed up, it's important. It'll always come underneath anyway. So the top one we're just going to right click and we're just going to delete that. And also, just to avoid the confusion, we're just going to delete the wave one from the desktop, like so. Now what we need to do is we need to grab a hold of this song, yeah, and we're just going to drag it to our desktop, like so. Now, you need to open any folder 
any folder at all. It, the folder that you open isn't relevant, but I'm just going to open my iPhone's ring tunes folder because I keep all my ring tunes in one. Now, again, this is how you do it for Windows Vista. Um, what we need to do now is change the file extension of the song. Um, file extensions generally don't show up after the name of the song in Vista, so you need to get it to show the file extension. So in, fo in your folder, any folder, just go to Organize, and then go to Folder and Search Options, and you'll get this up. Next, click on the View tab at the top, and then just towards the bottom of the box there, it should have a tick in the box which says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Take the tick out of that box and just click Apply. And now, if we click on Rusted from the Rain, you'll see at the very end there, just let my camera focus, you can't quite make it out, but it should just say M4R, M4A at the end there, sorry for the shit. So what we want to do is we want to right click, and we want to rename that file. And you'll see there, we get a kind of get a view there. You'll see there it's highlighted the whole name of the song, but hi hasn't highlighted the file extension. Hi just click at the end of the file extension, it'll say M4A. All we need to do is change that A to an R. So we're going to backspace, and then just put the letter R in. And then if you just click off the icon, you'll get this box up here. And it's asking you... If you change the file name extension, this file may become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? We're just going to click yes to that. And then just to keep things nice and organized, go back to this folder options and just put the tick back in hide extensions for known file types and apply and OK. And there you go. So now, if you notice as well, what it's done is it's now changed the icon. It was a Windows Media file before. It's now changed itself to an iTunes file and underneath it says ring. So, what we want to do now is drag that to the folder where you're permanently going to keep it. So for me, I'm going to keep it in my iTunes file. I already have a copy of it in there, so I'm just going to replace. And now it's shown up here. And then if we double click on it, it automatically comes up under ringtones in iTunes and the songs there. Now, if this is the first time that you're doing it, the ringtunes option won't be there and it'll automatically show up but when you double click it it'll open up in iTunes it'll go to the place where it needs to go okay then all you need to do is go to your iPhone sync it up right now it's just syncing up my iPhone oh another thing to remember as well you probably want to delete the ACC version from iTunes itself because you don't particularly need it. Just going through its sync right now. And there we go. So now if we go into our iPhone, settings, Sounds, ringtone, twisted from the rain. And there you go. And that is that. And as you can see, pretty standard iPhone, no jailbreak, no window board, just the normal stuff there. Nice and easy. Rate me, comment me, ask me some questions, I'll respond if I can. Oh,